Hello guys and welcome back to Sweeviver. Today's video is going to be a shorter one and it's made up on request from many of you Pimax Forum community members as well as many of you others, my lovely subscribers on Sweeviver. There has been a huge amount of people asking about this, so I feel I owe you this one, I guess. Today's topic is Pimax 8K and Pimax 5K Plus LCD panel pixel matrix and panel quality. We're going to analyze the Pimax 8K and the Pimax 5K Plus LCD panels, making detailed comparisons between both with very detailed through the lens photos. We are going to analyze both panels different pixel matrix or pixel patterns and also have a look at how the subpixels are arranged on each of these two. As we know already, the Pimax 5K Plus uses a more straight horizontal and vertical pixel matrix, while the 8K looks to have a more diagonal pixel pattern. While my through the lens videos in my big Pimax review from last Sunday were quite okay, I was not satisfied with the definition of the images taken with my Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus smartphone camera. So I decided to make a more serious approach into this and get some more detailed through the lens images this time. The whole week I have been looking for a good camera for this purpose, but this morning I actually realized that I could just use my Canon 6D full frame DSLR camera together with my existing 24 to 70 mm Canon L lens. This lens has surprisingly enough a built in macro mode which is perfect for this task. It may not be real one to one macro magnification, but it's well enough to take those through the lens images with more definition. Have in mind, the images are taken with macro magnification and quite low aperture, so only a very small portion of the image in center is actually sharp, so we are only going to look at this area. Also, please ignore all the colors, black levels and brightness in these images, as they could vary a lot between the photos, and the white balance was not manually adjusted for this session. I need to add though that I have slightly adjusted some of the images in Photoshop afterwards, to be more similar to each other in terms of brightness, contrast and color temperature, just to make it easier for you to do a fair comparison. In all these different 10 images we're going to take a look at, I was using PyTool at render quality value of 2.0, which is the highest one possible with PyTool, and I did also set the SteamVR super sampling to 300%. This is only to give you an as good rendered image as possible and to be able to only focus on the pixel matrix and panel quality instead of rendered image. All through the lens images were taken with JPEG format only and unfortunately not RAW, as I totally forgot to enable RAW mode on the camera this morning. Well, I'm sorry for that guys, I will do better next time, but if you are a Patreon supporter on my channel, you will also have the access to the original JPEG images as I will upload them later tonight. Anyway, let's get started. The first image is from the SteamVR dashboard on my Steam avatar. First thing we will notice is the huge difference in pixel pattern and indeed, as we already confirmed, the 8K pixel pattern is diagonal and reminds me a lot about Pentile pixel matrix, even if Pimax has confirmed that the panels uses RGB subpixel matrix. I still find it questionable to be honest, as the surprisingly big gaps between the pixels looks rather strange to me. You may also notice the green colors have more gaps between the pixels than the blue and red ones for example. Personally, I would say that this first example shows us a much higher definition in the 5K Plus image, despite having bigger gaps between the pixels and the screen door effect being bigger or more visible. This is really surprising, or what do you think, guys? You can clearly distinguish more details in this photo, and I would say that the 5K Plus really takes the edge here. Next one is also a Steam VR dashboard photo, and in this one I wanted to check the quality and clarity of very tiny text on black background, and the first example I could find was the Skyrim VR logo. Have a look at the small text on top, which says The Elder Scrolls 5. Even if the 8K is using way more pixels and subpixels to render the text, and despite the text having a better definition on the 8K, it's still very obvious that the text on the 5K Plus is easier to read and the letters are easier to distinguish from each other. Also, the 8K pixel pattern creates a lot of color fringing or a high amount of small subpixels with different colors to make the text white. And unfortunately, this is quite visible with our eyes even in VR. This makes the text a little bit more shimmery and more colored than white. 
and even if the 5k plus subpixels also are being used using the three colors to render white well of course it's needed because that's how white color is created in an LCD RGB panel still the subpixel colors are much less apparent on the 5k plus the horizontal and vertical pixel pattern has a huge advantage here I think and that's going to be even more obvious in our next example now let's have a look at black text on a white background in the real o virtual readability test pattern. The first example is from a distance where the text is rather small. As I already mentioned in my full Pimax 8K and 5K Plus review a week ago, the 5K Plus text clarity is much better than it is on the 8K. And in this example, you see the huge advantage of the straight pixel matrix, which has a lot easier task to render the text compared to the diagonal pixel pixel pattern that really does not impress here. The text is much cl less clear on the 8K even if more pixels are used to render it. And also the contrast of the 8K here is really bad for some reason. I find it a bit strange as I think the 8K has better contrast levels than the 5K plus overall, especially in games. But when looking at black text on a white background, the contrast between whites and blacks are definitely much better on the 5K plus. From a VR point of view, I would say that the small text is fully readable on the 5K+, while the letters on the 8K are more difficult to distinguish from each other. So let's jump into the next example, where I have aligned myself closer to the text now. You can clearly see that the letters have got more definition and clarity on the 8K panel, but I would still say that despite much less pixels being used on the 5K+, the text is still more crisp and sharp on the 5K+. Of course, that's mainly because of the straight horizontal and vertical pixel matrix again, and the more square-like pixels, which aligns better with the low resolution text. So in terms of readability, especially on light backgrounds, such as desktop work for example, I would say that the 5K Plus wins this race by far. Or what do you think guys? Please let me know in the comments below and we're gonna have a lovely discussion about this. Next one is from the cockpit view in Digital Combat Simulator, my favorite VR flight simulator, and I'm sitting in the default Su-25T aircraft. If I haven't mentioned it before, all images are taken from the same distance of course, and I had to do many many retries until I got to focus on correct spots, it's really difficult to take those through the lens images, I promise you. Anyway, here we can definitely see the clarity of the 5K+, Plus, but also much higher amount of sharpness and definition of the cockpit gauges and text. The difference is remarkable, I would say, and while I don't feel the difference being that big while actually wearing the VR headset on my head, I need to admit that the images speak for themselves and, well, they won't lie. I think this could be a huge deal breaker for most VR simulator fans who pledge for the Pimax 8K actually. The Pimax 5K Plus panels are doing an exceptional job rendering the gauges and simply everything is readable from normal sitting distance. The 8K on the other hand produces a slightly blurry and much more unclear and unsharp image making the gauges more difficult to read, even if they are still readable and does look much better than uh, well for example the HTC Vive or Oculus Rift. Let's lean forward in the cockpit now, get a little bit closer to the gauges and have a closer look. Now the difference is much smaller and I would say that the 8K gives us more definition into the text mainly, especially if you look at that number 600. A second example of the same gauge which focuses on the MAT something Russian word shows us slightly more definition on the 8K side but the clarity and readability is still better on the 5K plus despite using much less pixels and subpixels to show the text. Very very interesting indeed. Now, in this third and last example in the cockpit, I want you to look at the green edge of this gauge. The sharpness of the inner side of this green edge is definitely higher on the 5K Plus than it is on the 8K. I can say both of the headsets gives us slightly jagged edges and the difference between the jaggies is rather small, even if the 8K smoothens the edges a little bit more thanks to the more pixels and subpixels used on the panel matrix. 
Now let's try to capture the yellow and orange cockpit and heads up display text up on dark backgrounds in Elite Dangerous. The first example may not be the perfect one as I managed to have a different angle on the text while using each headset for this session, but despite that we can clearly see the difference between the 8K and the 5K+. Plus. I would say that the 8K does a much better job here rendering colorful text on dark backgrounds than it did on dark text and light backgrounds. And while being in VR, I can say that the text on the 8K now feels easily readable. But again, the through the lens images speak for themselves again and they won't lie. Despite lower resolution on the 5K+, Plus, despite more screen door effect and less pixels used, the text is simply sharper and more clear on the 5K+. Plus. This is once again thanks to the extra clarity of the 5K+, Plus with the straight pixel pattern which aligns very well with the text even if the text is extremely small and low resolution. In the last example, also in Elite Dangerous, with bigger heads up display text being closer to our headset now, I would say actually that the 5K Plus is indeed sharper, but the definition of the text with much more pixels being used on the 8K makes the text look slightly better on the 8K. The difference is not huge in VR, but probably this is for the first time I can say that the higher amount of pixels used has its advantage here. The text has also more correct colors on the 8K as the higher amount of pixels on the panel can render more yellow, orange and red pixels to make the overall text color more accurate. Anyways guys, I would like to know your opinions on this. Which of these headsets is the winner here and which of the headsets would you pick? I would also like to know your opinions from all the hardcore VR simulator fans. What would you do if you had to choose between the 8K and the 5K Plus? And what do you think about the panels and the pixel matrix on both the 5K Plus and the 8K? Do we have a winner here or does it depend on what we are using the headset for? So please discuss this in the comments here below and I look forward to read and join some interesting conversations and conclusions from your own analysis. I hope you found this video helpful and interesting and if you did, please leave a like on this video and don't forget to subscribe. If you appreciate my hard work and my content here on Sweeviber, please consider supporting me on Patreon. With only 2 bucks a month, you're making a huge difference and it's much appreciated and you're actually taking me one step closer to maybe one day do my channel on full time. Well, who knows? Thank you so much guys and every one of you also thank you so much for watching. A huge thanks to all my lovely Patreon supporters and of course a special thanks to my two very special and official sponsors on Patreon, Commander Darklight and Art Armin. Have a lovely start of the next week now and see you in my next video. Cheers!